In 2016, the Internet Research Agency, also known as the IRA, meddled in the U.S. presidential elections. Studies have since found that the IRA isn't a simple Russian troll farm, but a sophisticated agency adept at widening division among Americans, sowing mistrust towards the election process, and of course, promoting Trump. A 2019 Senate Intelligence Committee report found that the IRA's main operational focus was to pit Americans against one another and their government. The report also cites this Oxford study which found that users got more misinformation, polarizing, and conspiratorial content than professional produced news. Journalists and reporters use Twitter a lot. Some would say too much. In fact, a study at the University of Wisconsin found in a period of two years, 32 mainstream media and partisan outlets, including well-respected legacy sites like the Washington Post and NPR, used IRA Twitter accounts in their stories. They found reporters using IRA tweets to illustrate varying opinions, like in this piece by the Washington Post entitled, The Far Right Turned This Muslim Woman Into a Monster Online. That's despicable. Check out the editor's note stating that the original tweet by South Lone Star was identified as being linked to the Russian government. The article describes the story of a photograph circulating online that depicts a woman wearing a hijab walking past a person wounded from a terrorist attack. The piece explains later that the woman is seen in other images as stopping to help, but the fact that reporters are using unverified Twitter accounts is problematic. In another piece by the Washington Post, as well as these by HuffPost and USA Today, you can see where an account was linked to an IRA bot because the tweet is no longer embedded. That means the Twitter account was shut down. As a Wisconsin study states, while the articles we identified represent a tiny fraction of all articles produced from the outlets we surveyed during this two-year period, the fact that American imitating Russian trolls appeared in nearly every outlet we searched is troubling. The presence of these tweets in any news story represents a failure to verify the origin of the views used in news. There is a danger in utilizing these tweets because they carry potential to deepen the division between the right and the left. By use of these polarizing tweets, journalists are also unwittingly succumbing to the intent of the IRA.